Hi, and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Wayne, the General Sales Manager here, and I'm gonna take you through a full walk around tour of our 2013 build, first month 14 complied Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited Diesel four wheel drive. Now the purpose of this video is to walk you through the features and benefits of this particular car, but also give you a detailed condition report so you know exactly what you're gonna be purchasing from us. Moving around the front, the first thing you'll note with the Limited is it is packed with the chrome garnishes everywhere, showing that it's the top of the range luxury features. It does have that big chrome garnish at the bottom of the front bar. It's also got six color-coded sensors in the front bar, one right out to the side and two across the front here on either side, making parking an absolute breeze. One thing a lot of people don't realise is that these seven holes signify the seven continents of the world and Jeep was the first manufacturer to drive their cars across all seven and that's why across all their model range you'll see they have those seven holes in their front grille. Moving around to the front you'll see on the passenger side it says since 1941 signifying the year of Jeep and also the little uh, Jeep ute from way back in the war days there as well. You've got daytime running lights that run right around the outside. These look really good when they're lit up. And you do have HID headlights and fog lights down in the front bar there as well. Paintwork on this is in very, very good condition. It is the metallic grey, probably the most uh, popular colour in the Jeep range. And you've also got these large 20-inch five-spoke alloys. This one is unmarked with a heap of tread left on that front tyre there as well. The other thing Jeep do really well is this plastic garnish around the wheel arch. This is to stop any stones flicking up off the tyre there, causing any chip paint damage. And then moving down the rest of the side, the Limited does have the uh, side indicator up on the side mirror here, as well as colour-coded backing. Nice chrome Grand Cherokee badging on the front door there, and the Limited does get this nice chrome garnish right around the window trim and also on your door handles. This has also got your proximity button on the door, so when you have got the key in your pocket, push that button to unlock the car or lock it, uh, making it really easy getting in and out, and also is push button start, so you never have to take uh, your keys out of your pocket or your handbag. Again, paintwork through the side, excellent condition. This is a little um, vinyl garnish on the corner here. This is to stop any stone chips that hit this portion of the door just because it does come outwards, but nothing untoward there. And again, really tidy. Being very picky in this video to show you anything I can find, it looks like this has just got a tiniest little nick just on the face of that alloy wheel. But again, really good tread, tread left on that Goodyear tyre as well. Moving around to the back of this Jeep Grand Cherokee, this is where the styling really comes into its own. They've certainly done a great job making this an absolutely beautiful looking vehicle. Now, it does have the rear spoiler at the top of the tailgate here with a high mount stoplight, making it really easy for people behind you seeing when you're on the brakes. And you've got that really nice shark fin hard cased aerial on the top. Now this has also got the factory reverse camera just here on the tailgate underneath your Jeep badge and it is an electric opening tailgate. So when you push the button, it simply lifts itself up on those twin electronic gas struts there. And then into the back you'll note the previous owner has put a rubber mat in the back to look after the carpet underneath here. In underneath this you do have the full size steel spare wheel and all your jack and tools are in there. Now being the Limited, you've also got the better stereo, which does come with a factory subwoofer. And you've got a 12 volt power socket on that side, as well as these little hooks, which are great for putting your shopping bag handles on. And that stops your shopping from rolling around in the back. You'll also note the image there for the tether point for your child seats. They're down behind the flap, which is used if you do fold your seats down. It covers the gap in between the back of the seat there, making it a completely flat floor. Can be util utilised for sleeping in if you are travelling out and about anywhere. Now, on this side, you've got your electric tailgate button and also another couple of handles there and a little storage compartment down on the side. But all in all, really good condition all through the back there as well. Push the button and down goes the tailgate, nice and easy. No worries about whether you can reach up and uh, pull it down yourself because it's all electronic. 
Again, moving around the passenger side, it's going to be much the same as the driver side. All the design is pretty much identical. Uh, your fuel filler is on the passenger side with the release for this being inside the vehicle. And then you've got, again, another 20-inch wheel, which this one is completely unmarked. And you can see stacks of tread left on these tyres there as well. Again, both these doors really clean. If I'm again, I'm being trying to be really picky so we don't miss anything on the car. There's a couple of very light blemishes just here on this door, but again, for the year and kilometres, this has certainly been really well kept by the previous owner. And the other thing to note with this Grand Cherokee is it does have the privacy glass here on the back window, so really good privacy in there for your second row occupants and whatever you're carrying in the back and you can match that up with some darkest legal window tint at the front if you choose and we're more than happy to accommodate and talk to you about that as well. Last of the alloy wheels here, again, completely unmarked. Another ripping Goodyear tyre on the front there in excellent condition. So overall, exterior-wise, guys, the previous owners kept this car absolutely mint. Moving under the bonnet of the Jeep now, this is where it really comes into a powerhouse of its own. The bonnet release is just underneath the P there as well, and you will note you've got the gas strut there on the left hand side making that bonnet absolutely lightweight and easy to get out of the way. Under here we've got Jeep's world famous 3 litre 6 cylinder turbo diesel engine. This has been around for a while and it's certainly been tested in all its capabilities. Super impressive numbers with this engine is 184 kilowatts of power and what's even more impressive is the 570 newton metres of torque. Now what do all those stats mean? It means it's quick, it's powerful, it'll be fuel efficient, it's got a 93 litre fuel tank and mated to an 8 speed automatic transmission which is dual range as well. It will give you a towing capacity of three and a half ton. Now with 570 newton metres of torque people buy these cars for their towing ability. It'll pretty much tow your house down the road and you won't really know it's on the back. They're such comfortable cars to drive. We'll go through all the features inside the vehicle at the moment, but again, remembering a big piece of what you pay for with this Jeep Grand Cherokee is the significant power and strength in this engine itself. Okay, sitting inside, as I said, we'll go through all the creature comforts now, and Jeep do not cease to amaze me with how much stuff they fit inside their car. Starting on the driver's door card, we've got this beautiful leather uh, encased armrest with the brushed wood look finish here and the silver metallics as well. You've got a memory seat with two options there for the driver's seat. Um, you've got your central locking, your power window locks, and also your automatic windows up and down. And then you've got your electric mirrors over here. Now these are programmed to the reverse gear as well, so uh, we'll show you that when I show you the reverse camera as well. In behind the steering wheel, we've got our headlights, which do have the automatic setting over here for um, dusk and dawn. And then you've got your fog light controls here by pushing that button there. And then you've got your interior illumination by using this dial up and down on the inside there as well. Fuel cap release is just here, as I mentioned, and this has already been fitted with the Red Arc Tow Pro Elite um, dial as well. Now, these are the only ones we recommend for an electronic brake controller, so this is set up and already good to go with any towing requirements you might have. Now, the steering wheel itself, it is a leather-bound heated steering wheel, which we'll show you shortly. It's got everything at the touch of your hands. You've got your Tiptronic gear controls, plus and minus for changing up and down. You've got your stereo controls with some buttons behind the steering wheel here. These are for changing songs and also volume up and down, and also changing source from radio to Bluetooth. You've got your cruise control here on the right hand side, and then on the left hand side you've got these controls here which are all for the LED display behind the steering wheel. Now this will show you everything from your tyre pressure monitor through to uh, your transmission temperature, your oil temp, how, long's lo uh, how long life you have left in your oil, uh, battery voltage, a lot of good stats for the engine itself. Then you've got the ability to show miles and kilometres, and the speedometer you've got a big digital readout or the standard analogue display there as well. Um, down through here we have our Bluetooth voice activated controls there which is great to use, and on the side of the steering column here you've got the electronic control there so as you can see it is electronic up and down as well as telescopic backwards and forwards so you can really set that up exactly where you need it for the length of your arms uh, for total comfort while you're driving 
Jeep do a really good job of putting everything on this one individual stalk too. So you don't have one on both sides. You've got your indicators up and down on there like that. Your headlights are backwards and forwards and then your wiper controls are all on the dial there for your front and your rear wiper as well. And as I mentioned, it is a proximity key. So as long as you bring the key inside the vehicle with you, whether it be in your pocket or your handbag, that doesn't matter. You jump in, put your foot on the brake, push the start button and the car will go. Moving through to the middle, you can see Jeep have done a great job of putting a really large screen in the middle there. We've currently got it on the sat nav. Now, if I do flick it into reverse, I'll get the camera to pan to the left-hand mirror there. As soon as I flick it into reverse, you note that that mirror automatically pulls down. That's so you can see where that back wheel is against that curb when you're parking on the side of the road. And then you've also got the color reverse camera screen there as well, which also shows the top of the rear bar. And if you do fit the tow bar to the vehicle, you'll be able to uh, hook up your trailer or caravan really, really easy. So a great feature with the Jeeps reversing. Then you've got all your shortcuts here for your phone. Um, if you want to pair one up, it makes it really simple for you. All your shortcuts and uh, everything are listed there. Then your climate control. Now you can use this through the screen or you use it through here, which is your fan speed, your temperature up and down, uh, recirculated air, and then your two demisters for the front and rear. Now in your control section here, you've also got heated front seats for uh, both the driver and the front passenger and that heated steering wheel and again anyone who hasn't used one I highly recommend you give it a go on the test drive because it's awesome to use on those really cold winter mornings Now with your media, you've got a couple of different options inside the center console here We have our CD player with a little bit of storage and also a 12 volt power socket and then it will have USB on and auxiliary as well as Bluetooth music streaming there as well Radio controls, again, it's all controlled, really easy. Touch of a button on this touch screen, so super easy. Down through the middle, we have our ESP stability control. Again, you're really only gonna turn that off if you're in some serious four-wheel drive scenarios. Your eco mode, and that's literally just aiming at saving you some fuel whilst you're driving, and then your parking sensors, which you can turn off. Uh, if you've got a caravan or trailer hooked up, you're not gonna want them beeping at you while you're reversing. Down inside here, nice little storage compartment as well as your auxiliary USB SD inputs as well as another 12 volt power outlet there as well. You've got two really good sized cup holders in the center here and then you've got your four wheel drive controls. Now this is currently just sitting in auto mode. You've also got your four wheel drive low, your downhill descent control and then the different modes of your four wheel drive system depending on the terrain that you're currently driving on. Moving through the rest of the vehicle now, it's certainly been really well kept. Even the leather's held up really well over the years. No major wear and tear on those side bolsters getting in. Um, it is black leather interior, nice dark black carpet floors, which there is floor mats uh, included in the sale as well. And then throughout the back, again, also looking really, really well kept. Jeep do a great job of making super comfortable interiors and they finish the Limited off really nicely with this black roof lining just gives it that extra touch of class and then up the top you've got your interior lights here which are um, activated with the buttons on here and also your tailgate operation from inside if you want to open that tailgate without getting out of the car and a nice large sunglasses holder up there as well so as you can see jeep really haven't missed a beat with the interior of this car and the previous owner again has kept it absolutely spot on Okay, well there you have it, our walk around tour of our 2013-2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited Diesel. Again, an absolute powerhouse with three and a half ton towing capacity, tow bar, electronic brake controller already fitted, black leather interior and all those creature comforts inside. This is a car that will get you there in style and with ease at the other end as well. A couple of other things to note before we do go, please look up Berwick Mitsubishi on Google. We have over 1,100 reviews and we're currently sitting at 4.8 out of 5 stars, showing that our customers Australia-wide do really enjoy doing business with us. We make the whole process stress-free, easy and seamless from the first phone call to when you do come to collect your car. 
Julie, who's our business manager, would be more than happy to tailor a package to suit your requirements. And a couple of other things to note there as well. I've been through the quality of the paintwork on this car. Something that I recommend and we do here at Berwick Mitsubishi is ceramic glass coat paint sealer. Now, I'd love you to ask me more about what that is because it has the ability to give you a warranty on your paintwork against things like bat droppings, tree sap, UV oxidization from the sun, bug etching when you're on those long trips. And if any of those contaminants do eat through the paintwork, we're able to have that repaired and painted free of charge and have that glass coat reapplied. I'd love to tell you more about it, so please make sure you do ask me about that when you call. So the next thing to take into account is just gonna be what the next step for you will be. Is it a phone call to us to book in an appointment to view the vehicle and test drive? Is it gonna be like 50% nearly of our customers choose to do, leave a deposit subject to being happy with it when you get down here, and we can arrange to have that car ready for immediate handover. You come down, you see it, you drive it, and as long as it is what we've promised in the video, you get to drive it home on the same one visit or would you like to potentially have that car freighted to you door to door? The choice is yours, we're here to help you in any way we can. Our number here again is 9907 555 and I really look forward to helping you further with your decision on an appointment or purchase of this beautiful Grand Cherokee.